Alright class, Mr. G here, and I'm going to show you how to UV layout your table. Um, now for some of you, I know that you guys have been experiencing issues with doing your UV unwrap, and we'll go over the method on how to unwrap your objects uh, with that issue. Okay, so if you go over to your workspace here, you can click UV editing. And what that's going to do is it's going to change your workspace so you have your UV toolkit and your UV editor along with your perspective view inside your main window. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our table and we're going to go create automatic. And that's going to automatically create some UVs for you. Now for those who are having issues and it doesn't look like this, like I said, I'll go over a method for you guys to be able to unwrap your table as well. But for those of you who get um, your UVs laid out like this, we're going to push forward. So, you can simply select the outer edge here by either double clicking in your UV layout editor or double clicking in the perspective view. just like that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch these edges together so go ahead and go uh, right click I mean uh, shift right click and stitch together and it will stitch those UVs together alright so UV shell that's one UV shell we can go ahead and put that over to the side here and now we have the bottom and then we also have the legs so the name of the game is trying to have as uh, few UV shells as possible especially in video games now if this was for a CG short or a movie what we do is have different UV um, uh, different UV shells or not UV shells I'm sorry uh, different UV layouts so if we come here, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? It's in view, grid settings. Let me change this to labels. Hit apply. Close that. You can now see the different UV sets here. So we have 101. 102, 103, and so on and so forth, right? So that would allow us to, sh to see which UV set our corresponding UVs are in. But for right now, we only need to focus on the first UV set, okay? So we're going to go ahead and select one of the edges, long edges, and go ahead and stitch that together so that now we have one UV island for the main shape of the table, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to start stitching together the legs. Now what we want to do, if we go into x-ray mode, is select three edges of the table. And actually, let's go back into object mode really quickly and isolate the table so we don't see anything else in the scene. Okay. Now that that's isolated, go ahead and turn our grid off so that's not distracting. Now what we want to do is just select the three edges of each table leg to stitch together. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the outer edges to stitch together here. Alright, so once I have those selected, I'm going to go ahead and hold shift, right click, and stitch together. And then what I want to do is stitch together one of the edges from the bottom of the table. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of the edges here. And stitch those together. Now, once I have all my UV shells together and finished, I'm going to go ahead and go shift, right click, layout, layout UV. And it should lay out your UVs like this. All right. Now, for those who are experiencing issues with using the automatic UV layout, what we're going to do is go ahead and let me get rid of my current UVs. So when we go to 
um, automatic I'm sorry create automatic I just created it sorry about that go back to object mode create automatic object mode create automatic hmm. and what is the error At least one argument be specific. Zero found. Okay. Create automatic. And it's still giving me issue. Okay, so this is a new error for me. Make sure that nothing is hidden. Go back into object mode. Create. Uh, let's do camera based projection and now let's do automatic. Okay. So, uh, for some reason, it just didn't like that I didn't have any UVs when I was doing automatic UVs. So, sometimes you just have to do a camera project projection. Anyway, for those of you guys who are having issues with not having your UVs layout like this when you do automatic UV layout, what you need to do is hold shift, right click, go into your unfold unfold option box select legacy hit apply close that hold shift go into your layout layout option box and also go to legacy okay hit apply and close that so now when you go to automatic eh, I can't simulate the issue. Edit, reset. So uh, if you're still experiencing some issues, try edit, reset, hit apply, close. Um, hopefully that might fix the issue. If not, uh, go ahead and set both of your unfold and UV layout to legacy mode. Then go ahead and close that. Now it might not be as straight as these are. So what you'll have to do is select that UV shell and go to straighten UVs and that'll help straighten your UVs out okay so uh, once you once you have that done you can go ahead and do the same process stitching together your UVs Now another thing that you guys can do is once you have, let's say, your leg selected here, sometimes you'll be able to go into select similar and it'll try to select similar edges. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So that was a failed attempt right there. But um, sometimes you can uh, speed up your selecting workflow by using uh, select similar. In fact, that's one of the tools that I use uh, commonly when I remember to do so. Alright, so we're going to stitch those together like so. UV shell, UV layout UV. And then also you guys, and I forgot to go over this step. What we need to do is go into our transform. Go ahead and uh, Texel density get and hit set and that will uh, realign or replace your UVs uh, to the size and of what they need to be and then you can kind of move these around at your discretion um, and actually go into layout UV layout uh, let's see if this for this one so yeah, you have a uh, shell padding uh, by pixels. Let's try 16, hit apply. See what that looks like, yeah. Or you can even do it by four, so. I'm sorry, eight. So eight should be good enough. And then uh, on 
info 3D. Set that to 8 there. And then in legacy. Uh, where is that? Offset. Spacing. There is not an option to do that. Okay, yeah. So, uh, that is how you would UV layout your table. And now we're going to move on to the next object.